Hi there, Chris here, another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting the Marathi model from Age of Sigmar. And of course, we are working on the large snake version of her. And in this video, we are going to work on the dress of the model. And as you can see here, she we've already worked on the tail and the snake body. To get us started, we're going to use some Mephiston Red. We're going to be using a large dry brush to apply this first base, base layer on. We could just as easily use an airbrush to apply this on, but I figured uh, we might as well just use a regular old brush. And basically, I've just thinned out the uh, Mephiston Red with just the dampness of the brush, just to thin it out ever so slightly, and it goes on in pretty much uh, a coat and a half, essentially. Next is Mephiston Red and Rhinox Hide. We're going to mix these in a roughly a one-to-one -one mix ratio. And basically, this is going to create our shade color here. And basically, this is going to go in, uh, in the underside of the dress, the part that is closest to the uh, snake body itself. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm just going to lay a little bit down. And then with another brush, I'm going to feather out uh, the, uh, the color, as it were. So I take one brush, and I apply the uh, mixture onto the area. And then with another brush I w that is just damp, and feather out the color in through the area. And basically, it's just creating this, um, you know, this blend on the area. And so it's just really, really quick here, just creating this uh, gradient in through the dress, as it were. We could also continue on with this technique uh, onto the rest of the folds and such onto the model, but I figured uh, we could speed things up just a little bit for these other folds. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Lamian Medium, very heavy helping, it's like four or five drops there, and then also a drop or two of Liquitex Flow Aid, basically turning this into a shade wash. And then just really quickly, I just begin to apply it uh, into the uh, model itself, all the red areas, getting into all the little nooks and crannies, allowing this deeper color to uh, just create some more shadows and such. And of course, it's not too contrasty, so it's not going to be, you know, too drastic uh, a change in color, as it were. Once that is dry, we're going to come in here. I'm just grabbing some paper here, and I'm just going to block off some areas so that I don't get into uh, any other uh, areas of the model. And with Evil Sun Scarlet, this is the Citadel Air variety, and I'm using a Badger Renegade Chrome. I'm spraying it around 10 PSI, and I'm just spray basically going to begin laying this onto the high points of the dress. So it's pretty much just going to be the one half of the dress that's going to get this brighter color. I'm also going to apply it onto the chest as well, and I'm looking to create a brighter gradient at the ends of the tail as well are at the ends of the dress as well as uh, where her uh, bottom would be as well and of course on the chest as well next is I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, troll slayer orange to this mixture making it roughly a two to one and then just really quickly going around and laying this on top of the previous areas again slowly building up towards the ends and again towards the bottom of the dress as well Next, I'm going to add a little Terminus Stone to this mixture, basically giving it a 2 to 1 to 1 mix ratio. And then really quickly here, I'm just going to lay this down again. What, adding the Terminus Stone kind of desaturates it a bit, bringing it up a little bit higher. But that's fine because, again, I'm not spraying it too far onto the dress. I'm just really spraying it onto the bottom, just a bit on the chest and at the ends of the dress as well. And so you can see there, it goes by fairly, fairly quickly. I'm also going to take a bit of this mixture here and I'm going to grab my dry brush and I'm just going to very carefully dry brush some of the high points of the dress as well as the very ends of the dress as well. There's no sense in wasting a paint mixture as it were. And again, this paints are they're airbrush paints, but I mean, you can dry brush them just as easily. Just make sure that you remove a lot of the paint from your uh, bristles before you do so, just so you don't get any streaks and runs and anything like that onto the model. Next is Kindle Flame. This is the Citadel Dry. It's a very, very light, light, light orange. And then really quickly here, I'm just going to get just the ends of the dress, as well as a couple of the little high points on the folds and such uh, on the hips, as well as the uh, chest as uh, on the area of the model. And just a little bit on the folds there on the backside as well. And that'll be pretty much it for the red of the dress, as you can see there. Fairly interesting, nice and different from the rest of the body, but that's it. It's as easy as that. 
Well, I hope you found that quick tip useful and informative. You can watch another quick tip today on miniwargaming.com's vault. Just click on the link in the video description below to watch it right now. If you're not already a vault member, you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Be sure to sign up for the silver membership and that will give you instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And again, thank you for watching, commenting and subscribing and happy wargaming.